Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want me to put me posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. All right, so I was able to find this guy at my Walmart. He finally, they finally decided to restock on this guy. Uh, I'm not gonna do a review of, well, I mean, I'm gonna do a review on this and just a hammer. I'm not gonna do a review on Sugar Man again. I'm just gonna like sh show the details of the hammer. But here's Dark Beast. Here's the top, the Age of Apocalypse side art. Here's the back. If you want to re uh, pause and read this, you can. Here's the here's the DCPI. There goes the Lego. Um, but besides that, let's crack this thing open. Here he is out of the packaging, and I'll show off the accessories first. But all I have to say about this figure is pretty cool. Uh, there's only one little gripe I have about it, and it deals with this. I'll I'll say why in a little bit. But I like it. He looks really cool. I like the figure itself. Um, but let's go over the looks of him. Uh, like I've said before, I don't know much about the X-Men Apocalypse story. I never read anything about it. Here's the, sh I'll just do a review on this real quick first. So here's the hammer for Sugar Man. It's basically like Thor's hammer, except this top part, it's supposed to be a circle for Thor, but it's like a rectangle. And then they did a little sculpting for this. It has marbling through it and it says sugar on the the hammer here and the little cracks. Pretty cool. But not much really going on with everything else throughout the hammer besides this part. Um, but that's all I've got for the hammer. Let's go over east. So start off with the face here. Looks really cool. The hair is nuts. He kind of has like that Wolverine hair here. And then like the add like a little more in the back here like this. So it's pretty cool. The fur looks good. I wish they did a little bit, sh a little more shave shading throughout the hair. I like the pants, really metallic blue. I like it. And the fur throughout the feet, it's pretty cool. Um. Back looks good, and then the hair is like sculpted, so helps out with like the realistic feel, I guess, for it. And it has like one more thing about the dreads, he has like these little braid I mean, not braided um, like tied up hairs along the sides here, and then he has like these rings on his ears. Um, but let's go over the articulation for this guy. Oh, yeah, actually first Here's the accessories. So this is the one that I have a problem with uh, I try I, Before I did this I tried getting them into a pose where he can hold himself up to the side like this with this So I'm not sure if it was meant to be like that or what um, but this is I guess like his book reading hand It looks like he's supposed to be holding something um, since he's a scientist, I would assume that he's reading the book. And then that one new gray beast, uh, I figured that's coming out. It comes with a book, and I'm assuming this hand is supposed to be, like, off of that. And it has a fisted hand. And then it has this gripping hand that I used for this. Um, but besides that, let's go through the articulation. So his head can move down far here let me zoom out a little bit here it moves up just a little bit he has side to side motion but his hair kind of like stops it at some points um he has a little bit of head pivoting here like that uh, his arms can move out that far has a butterfly joint really good through the back but not much in the forward because you can bring his shoulder up like this um uh, bicep swivel Dumbbell jointed elbows. 
uh, his wrist can hinge down that far, up this far, 360 rotation. Uh, so this is something that they're doing with the uh, new Spider-Man figure too. So yeah, it has a diaphragm joint, although he's like a little bit bigger than the Spider-Man figure. Uh, he can barely move side to side with the diaphragm joint, but he can move back just a little bit with that and have forward just a little bit. But then there's an ab crunch at the waist where that can move forward uh, just a little bit and then back pretty good. Uh, but then well, all that together, you can move forward a little bit more and then backwards a little bit, a lot better. But uh, but that does get rid of the uh, like 360 waist rotation swivel thing. And then I think what I've heard, he's supposed to have like these drop down. Yeah, he's, his like thighs are supposed to drop down or something. I, I don't really remember. Like you can see that it does something like between their crotch, I don't know. But uh, his legs can kick forward just like barely. And then backwards, pretty, eh, it's decent. And then thigh, thigh, thigh cut, okay. That's stiff, thigh cut there. Uh, double, double jointed knees here. Uh, his um, ankle could shift down that far, up this far, and then he has like these toe uh, joints here. Um, but besides that, I, I, I'm not sure if he has that one feature that they were saying that he had. I, I thought I saw a video where he has like that certain feature, but I'm guessing maybe, I don't know. That there was some weird feature about that. I'm not sure though. Um, but I like this figure. He's really cool. Um, but besides that, uh, that's all I've got for this video. So thank you for watching. All right. So this is the drawing for the shout out here. Let me zoom out just a little bit here. Um, so this is the shout out for the people who guess the figure correctly which is um dark beast and put up their story and tag me in um and more than four people but right it, more than four people answer but uh some of you guys didn't do the story part so next time i do one of these make sure you do make sure you repost on your story and then tag me so that way i know that you repost it on your story um but i've been checking you guys' stuff like your stories for whoever answered just to make sure uh, but to make it easier for me make sure you just tag me in your stories but I only got four people in here at the moment hopefully it, go, it gets a little bigger um, so let's just do this I'm just gonna do a little tossing here all right so, oh one fell out again do it again All right, let's try this. All right, and shout out goes to Fort Leaks Customs uh, 2468. Um, so make sure you check out his Instagram. All right, so all he has is an Instagram uh, right here and uh, he does a lot of photography with customs. He will be doing it. Uh, so make sure you check his Instagram page out and um i will have more i guess these figures um out like next week i'm gonna try doing them every week even though i don't have reviews for these figures um i'll like pick some from my shelves so that way i just keep going with it do shout outs get connected with you guys um and i thought it'd be a pretty cool idea to do uh thank you to uh, Clockworks and MCU Collector for like helping me reach out to others. Thank you very much. Uh, they're really cool. They do reviews. Clockworks has their own store to get your figures from. And then MCU Collector, he does reviews like I do um, and collects figures. Um, but like I said, make sure you check out this. Uh, make sure you check out Fort Leaks Customs 246A on Instagram. He does a lot of photography. Make sure you check him out. Um, but besides that, that's all I got for shout outs. There will be more coming out next week. 
So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you watch out for my YouTube, I mean, watch out for my Instagram because that's where I post the guess these figures out. Um, Instagram is the Hunter Collector. Um, and besides that, that's all. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting Get me being able to do that and I'll also get more games uh, to do reactions to. I want to get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it and then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports, videos, other stuff like that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.